Today I'm going to talk about gentle potty training. As someone who has tried pretty much all the methods of potty training out there, gentle potty training is my absolute favorite. Not only because it's less stress, but throughout the years I've noticed that the children who have been potty trained with gentle potty training have the best long-lasting results. So these are the kids who have the good lifelong habits in potty training. So let's learn more about gentle potty training. First of all, the goal of gentle potty training is to connect and to empower the child um, so that they can be independent and be able to use the bathroom without a ton of help from you. In fact, lots of kids are able to use the bathroom with very minimal help when it's done right. So something I need you to keep in mind is that potty training is not a timed test at all. Um, and it's definitely not something that needs to be crammed into three days or a weekend. Potty training is something that you can just weave into your own schedule and um, gentle potty training makes that so effortless and seamless. Second of all, gentle potty training is a bonding experience. So again, this isn't something that you have to overthink, but it's something that you probably already do. So if you are already reading books to your child, first of all, fantastic. That's what children need. And all you have to do now is add in some great potty training books to start help your child understand the concept of going to the bathroom and why they need to go to the bathroom. Um, another fun way to bond with them through potty training is with potty training songs. Children love singing so much. And so by reading to them and singing to them about potty training and having them join in, it just makes it so much more fun and gets them on board without the element of force. Now, we have some links below so that you can look up our favorite potty training songs and our favorite potty training books. Number three, gentle potty training is a way to partner with your child. And I love this because it's not a matter of force. We're not going to be um, chaining a child to the bathroom and saying you have to go potty 30 times a day. Instead, this is a milestone similar to walking and talking. As your child learned to walk and talk, you are there to support them and guide them. So when children are learning to talk, we converse with them back and forth every single day. And as they um, get older, as babies, then they start to babble and say their own words. And when it comes to walking, you are able to hold your hands out and help your child take those unsteady steps towards you. And similarly, in potty training, when you use gentle potty training, you're able to step in and support them so that they're not going from wearing a diaper to having tons of accidents. Gentle potty training is about easing them into the process and helping them feel comfortable so that they can feel their body signals and go in the bathroom. Number four, gentle potty training is about learning your child's cues. This doesn't mean that you're trying to catch them midstream when they're going pee in their diaper. Definitely not that. But it does mean that you need to be observant of when they wake up dry and so you can set your child on the potty then. Or perhaps they like, they feel comfortable going to the bathroom before bath time. It's even things like knowing what time of the day they have a bowel movement. That can be such a huge help in potty training your child. All of these things together just help it so that you know my child has these tendencies and this is how I can come in and support them and be their partner and not be the person who's forcing them into things. Number five, kids do well if they can. That is a quote from Dr. Ross Green and what I love about him is that he understands children's behavior so well and is one of the most renowned experts on it. And what that quote means in potty training is that when a child is stubborn or resistant or they're just struggling, there's a root cause behind it. 
There's a reason why, why your child isn't able to go pee on the potty yet. Maybe they're not able to relax their pelvic floor to release the pee out. Or perhaps they're having trouble pooping on the toilet because they're constipated. So every single thing that goes on in potty training, there is a root cause to it. And instead of forcing your way through that answer, it's being the parent detective and figuring out what is going on with the child so that I can help them. Well, I love gentle potty training so much that I created a whole course on it called Peaceful Potty Training. It has my best tips step-by-step -step to get you and your child to the point of potty training um, from diapers to underwear without all the tears. So if you're interested in that, we'll link it below at peacefulpottytraining.com.